What's up YouTube? Nick here, and today I wanted to talk about one simple question. Are bird feeders bad for birds? Now at face value this question seems almost ridiculous. Of course they can't be bad. The birds, they love my bird feeders. I must have to fill them up two or three times a week. How could that ever possibly be bad? And when I first thought about this question, that was a very similar response that I had as well. But then I really began to think about the state of the birds as they stand now. Now for everyone who hasn't looked at it, there is an organization known as the North American Bird Conservation Initiative. And what they have done is compiled all of this data on bird species population increase and decline, and they had put out an annual report. And in that report they stated that 37% of all birds in North America are in need of urgent conservation efforts. Now, this is obviously a horrible fact, and I wish that it weren't true. Most of the birds that are at greatest risk for extinction are shorebirds and birds that rely on tropical nesting grounds for migration. But, let's get back to our thought. Are bird feeders bad for birds? And I began to think about a video that I had made earlier, Seven Common Birds You'll See at Your Feeder. And it struck me during that video and later in my urban birding video that many of these most common birds we see are actually invasive species. And so I began to think to myself, could it possibly be that these bird feeders that we put out, it's estimated a million pounds of bird seed, are put out for birds voluntarily by humans every year. If all of that rich food source primarily goes or disproportionately goes towards the benefit of invasive species, could an argument be made that bird feeders are actually supplementing the growth of invasive species, which further diminishes the populations of these birds that we already know are in desperate need of conservation efforts? I obviously took to the internet and began searching away to try to see if this theory could be talked about somewhere else, and I really didn't see it out there. I was on allaboutbirds.org, which many of us know is hosted by Cornell University, and while they listed a few concerns about bird feeders, it appeared to me that at the end of the day, the argument that they were willing to make is that the birds who most frequent bird feeders are the birds that are experiencing the least amount of population decline. And by that correlation, bird feeders cannot be bad for birds. Both Audubon and Cornell both suggested that bird feeders might put particular birds at unnecessary risk for predator attacks. There was also suggestions that bird feeders may increase the spread of particular diseases within birds. Both of these make plenty of sense. There's a smaller argument to be made that bird feeders encourage birds to fly into windows more often, thus suggesting a possible danger to birds who were to frequent bird feeders. But in both of these arguments, both Cornell and Audubon came to the conclusion that bird feeders cannot be bad for birds because birds that frequent bird feeders are not experiencing the most significant population decline. And I was a little baffled. I thought that this was just a narrow point of view. It must be broader than that. I was thinking about my video about the common birds you'll see at your bird feeder. And I remember I had listed seven and could think about four right off the top of my head that I know are invasive species. And I know that the growth of these species further pushes down the birds that need the greatest conservation efforts. Birds like house sparrows or European starlings, even house finches really originated from California and shouldn't be on the eastern half of the United States. Right? And these are birds that I'll see at my bird feeder every single day. And then I began to think about birds that weren't necessarily at my bird feeder but might be at someone else's bird feeder in a more urban setting. Something like uh, a rock pigeon. Right? We know from previous videos that those are invasive species as well, that their population is absolutely exploding and that they are another bird that receives more voluntary feeding from humans than anything else. And then I started to think about birds that weren't necessarily invasive but are considered destructive, and that I see those at my bird feeders very often as well. I can think about blue jays who are notoriously aggressive and have been known to kill eggs in other birds' nests. And the brown-headed cowbird which is just a bully of a bird who doesn't make his own nest and will simply lay his egg in a pre-existing bird's nest. The brown-headed cowbird is a relatively large bird, and when that baby is born, the mom ends up having its own fledglings die trying to care for this brown-headed cowbird. 
it's a serious reason for population decline, particularly among smaller migratory songbirds. And so when I think about all these things in combination, that there are other birds that visit my bird feeders, of course, but they disproportionately benefit birds that are known to be aggressive, destructive, or completely invasive. And when I think about all of those things, I'm left with the question, are bird feeders bad for birds? I think that this is a real argument that hasn't necessarily been brought up before and might deserve a little bit more attention. I'm not an ornithologist and I haven't conducted any large-scale studies. I don't really think I'm an appropriate person to decide that bird feeders should be taken down. But I do think that we should put into consideration how much benefit bird feeders could possibly be giving. We know that they are not providing aid to the birds that need them the most. And we also know that they disproportionately provide food to the birds that need them the least. Just something to think about. If you guys liked this video and you're interested in seeing more, please hit that like button and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at stopandlisten.channel. Thanks, guys.